All right, so we, um, we're going to do a bit of analysis on the ride from yesterday on the Norton Summit climb. So unfortunately, um, they didn't do the whole climb uh, because they came on slightly too late. Um, they came about 500 meters uh, onto the climb, so there's not a segment for the whole thing. But we're just, Richie Port luckily posted his power data, so we'll just do a bit of analysis and see, see how much the heat affected all these riders. So we'll look at the comments and thing now. Just well done, Richie. Um, right, so if we go on his average power, 240 watts, that's pretty low for a world tour race, especially for his, for his power, uh, for his weight, sorry. He's about 58, 59 kilos, right around that weight. Um, temperature 41 degrees. Ah, that was horrible. Like, I barely rode um, in that heat, and it was just disgusting. Um, so you can see at the beginning, the wattage is very low. They just literally let the brake go, but the brake was still pulling like 300 to 350 watts, which is just crazy how they can do that for such a long time in this heat. Um, but anyway, we'll go down. So most of this was generally pretty chill, and then they hit the Norton Summit climb. So this is basically knocks off the first 500 meters. If you have done Nortons, um, so we go over here to all time. Uh, so you can basically see two years ago, uh, Thomas again, and they basically started the stage in Norwood. It basically went straight on Norton. So it was quite a decisive time to, for the break. So they basically went absolutely full gas up here, um, and it's a big numbers like last boom did 480 watts. Sorry about this, a bit tired. Uh, Reese Gillett, 400 watts. Like you can see, the guys were really smashing. Uh, oh, some of these were in training, to be fair. But even so, you can see that the top guys all were um, all were pretty much in that race. Um, so anyway, then if we go into this year, um, you'll see a very different result. So number one is Daryl MP, who did this in training. I was I was on that training ride actually. Um, I didn't really get any GoPro footage of it, but he was definitely flying up that thing. And the wind was pretty much the same. I did check that. The wind was pretty much the same. And Daryl MP went, what, 28 seconds faster? Okay, obviously he did about two or three efforts, I think it was, and obviously it wasn't in a race, but even so, like, no one's summit is such a draft assisted climb that if you have a group with you, your power is so much lower. Um, so it's so surprising that, like, the power they're putting out is just not very high um, for them at all. Like, Richie Port did 330 watts, like, he can probably hold, like, 380 to 400 watts probably for, like, 20 minutes, like, um, it's just very, it's very crazy, like, how much this heat really did affect them and how much it changed the race. You can see some of the heart rates, like, 198 for 1040 or 193 for 1040, like, that is, that is disgustingly hard. Um, and you can see even these, this guy, I don't know who they are, there's probably some amateurs, like, they almost, um, were going similar speeds to them, um, just because, yeah, they were, just because, of, like, they were so cooked, these riders, um, so it, it definitely did change the outcome massively. Nathan has lost a lot of time. Um, so I think it just shows that the, the, how much the heat really did change this this race. Um, and that obviously if it was um, if it was a lot cooler day, then I think it would have been far more, people would have attacked a lot more um, and it would have been far more decisive. Maybe Sagan would have got dropped. But instead, because it was just so hot, no one, no one could do anything. Like, it just looks, just looks like absolute chaos on the road and just horrible. I just really would not want to be riding in like that heat at all. Um, and you can see even at Agam Bernal is like 290 watts and you're like, like I can do that for 10 minutes. Like obviously I'm, I'm not as light as him, but even so, like you can see, you can see that they, they were going full gas obviously, but their power numbers was just so much lower because of the heat. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens in Wollonga today. Uh, hopefully Port posts Port post his power data and we'll be able to analyze that tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.